Peace. This is King Noble, Black Supremacy. And with this particular video, I want to talk about the eternal synchronicity of beingness versus the meaning, purpose, or reason of life. I've been doing a series dealing with life having no meaning, life being void of meaning, and incidents and situations or circumstances being void of reason. Just happening. And also dealing with life having no purpose. Contrary to Western religious ideologies and philosophies. But with this particular video, I want to put it all into perspective for you because a lot of people got lost when they said life has no meaning, but I, I have this deep sense of meaning. I have this deep sense of purpose and this connectedness of it all. Is that? Well, I'm going to call that the eternal synchronicity of beingness, that there's an eternal synchronicity to things and even to who you are. That who you are is synchronized with all that is, was, and forevermore shall be. And a reoccurring synchronicity. A repeating, reoccurring synchronicity. That you yourself and your consciousness, your experience of life is a synchronistic event that has occurred. That you've always been, but you have been realigning yourself over and over and over again for eons, coming into realignment. Now, let me just lay the surface, let me lay the groundwork for this. I say there's no meaning to life, there's no purpose to life, there's no reasoning outside of life and outside of the human consciousness that reason. Well, that's hard for some people. But if I say infinity could have no purpose because it never ends, it becomes easier. Infinity will never end. So there will be no ultimate conclusion, no ultimate point of arrival. Infinity never settles. It is infinite chaos, infinite dark matter consciousness animating itself forever. So it can have no purpose. It can have no reason and no meaning. Just an awakened moment. However, there are synchronistic events. And this is a synchronistic experience. That what we understand about life, when we look at life, is that it likes to try to do the same thing over and over again in different ways. That it likes to give you different expressions of the same thing. So it's doing what it's doing over and over and over again in an infinitum of ways that change subtly. Where there is some semblance of what it was, but it has appeared in a new way. And that's why reincarnation is so deep, because that's what's happening. A lot of times you all get premonitions and retrospections of your past lives and past experiences and we understand as a melanated people who we once were and getting back into that but you're not supposed to go back infinity is always doing what it is in a new way so you are the same being and same entity that you've always been and always was this is just slightly different and it's supposed to be and you have synchronistic moments in this life that reawaken you to the fact that this has always been, that this is reoccurring, that you've somehow been here before, that this is very familiar for you. We call that synchronicity. Sometimes deja vu is you realize the synchronicity of the moment where you feel like you've done this before. And if you've done it before, then you would not be able to differentiate if you're doing the exact same thing again. It's because it is slightly different that brings your mind to recollection that you did this before. There's evidence that the universe is constantly doing the same things 
but slightly different. Look at the snowflake. There's no two snowflakes alike, but it's still a snowflake. You still can identify a snowflake. No leaves look exactly like. You can't go into the forest and pick out two leaves that are exactly the same, but yet it's still a leaf. It's the same thing in such a, with an infinitum of possibilities of being. See, that's what life is. 